The city of Jennings has been at the center of the Fox files after a man called our investigators for help when the city tried towing his truck with expired plates from his driveway. You may have seen parts of our investigation over recent weeks. From a street showdown when a tow truck got blocked from taking a vehicle to Jennings mayor telling Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy to give him push ups after our cameras captured a car with expired tags in the mayor's driveway. Well, tonight in a new investigation, Mitch takes an in-depth look at the car the mayor is driving since the other has an outdated license plate. Yep, hello. The mayor refuses to answer most questions surrounding the city's attempted tow or why the tags in his driveway are not up to date. But the mayor does offer an explanation to why he's driving around with dealer tags. Sir, people want to know about the cars being towed, okay? When Jennings Mayor Gary Johnson canceled our interview and started to ignore our calls, we waited for him outside City Hall. I ain't ready, for the, I ain't ready to talk to you yet. He eventually talked about the city's seizure of Robert Cotton Sr.'s truck. Well, the attempted seizure. St. Louis County police officers were called and the truck was never towed. The police then told him, you're breaking the law. Back at City Hall, we noticed Mayor Johnson's car had no front plate. The back had dealer tags. Department of Revenue records say the plate connects to Drive Right Auto on West Floor Center. <laughs> Secretary of State records reveal the business is owned by two men. Neither are Gary Johnson. One of the owners appears to be the mayor's business partner in a home rental company. We had more questions about this car and spotted it outside the mayor's home, including an old car with plates that expired in 2019. Can I ask you about the car? I ain't talk, hey, look. You can, you can do whatever you want to do, just don't talk to me no more. The mayor ended up showing us a dealer's license that expires next May, which he says gives him the OK to drive a car with dealer plates. The Fox Files discovered the car had been purchased from an auto auction just a few weeks ago. Missouri law is clear. A car can only have dealer tags when it's being held for resale. The mayor would not say if his Chrysler is for sale. We went to drive right auto. Despite the posted nine to six business hours, the open sign was off at 11 a.m. and the doors were locked. I called the number listed. One of the owners answered and agreed to an interview, but off site. <laughs> While en route to the interview, he called and canceled. But before disconnecting, he confirmed the mayor is under contract at Drive Right, works off commission. But because he was not in the office, he could not say the last time Johnson sold a car. Do you sell cars on the lot? He hung up. The owner refused to answer that question and the phone disconnected. While the mayor is driving the car with dealer tags, the parked car with expired plates. The mayor says because the car fired up, it's not a safety hazard and not in violation of his city's ordinance. But then he would not answer any more questions. You try to hold me to something I, I said, you just betted me 25 push-ups and you ain't gonna do them. The Department of Revenue has strict policies on who's issued dealer tags because of tax purposes. You can see all of our investigations into Jennings, towing practices, including my exchange that led to the push-up conversation right now on fox2now.com. For the Fox Files, I'm Mitch McCoy.